Hello world, welcome back to CodingScientist.com. We are on a special series called Artificial Intelligence and Robotics on Jetson Nano using JetBot Robotic Kit. All right, guys, we are on lesson number 29. That's great. We have come a long way, guys. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to control your JetBot remotely through, through Teleop. That means we are going to hook it up through the PS3 controller. I hope you guys are ready, uh, gone through the previous lesson and try to configure your PS3 uh, controller with the USB dongle plugged into your laptop. And you did go through the website which I showed you uh, and you did configure and found the index number, whichever the index number. So that's very important guys. Without that, we may not be able to proceed in this lesson. All right. Let's take a look. So I have already uh, switched on my uh, JetBot. It's already connected here right in front of me. So I can see my IP address. I have already, I suppose I have already logged in. Let me just share my screen. There you go. I have already logged into JetBot. And then what we need to do is let me, let's just double click this JetBot directory here on the left hand side double click go to notebooks double click and then at the bottom you can see tele operation double click on the tele op and you can find a python script file so tele operation dot ipynb double click on that there you go so here you can see the code what we need to do is the first line of code here you need to go to the index part let me just kill this program once and restart again. Let me, all right, let me show you how to kill and restart. So you need to go to the kernel on top and you can say restart kernel. All right, it will restart again. Okay, now what we need to do, I'll just close this for timing, discard. Let me go back to JetBot. Let me open up notebooks. In notebooks, I can find teleoperation. In teleoperation, you'll find the Python code for teleoperations. There you go. All right. Now what we need to do, I hope you have gone through this website in the previous lesson, which I showed you. You need to go to this uh, html5gamepad.com and configure your, uh, your uh, PS3 controller with the dongle, which comes along with the kit. You need to connect that Bluetooth dongle to your laptop, not on the Jetson Nano. Many people do this mistake. Connect to your laptop, all right? Once you hook it up, you'll get the index number either one or zero, or in some cases it is two. So in my case, it is zero, and I'm going to switch on my dongle, sorry, uh, my PS3 controller. I just switched it on, and you can see a red light, which is a good sign. And now what we need to do, the first set of code in the cell one, highlight this, I am on index zero. In case if you are on index one, you can modify this code. You can just click here, type as one, or it might be two, or it might be three, you never know. So in my case, it is zero, all right? So I am highlighting this code and I'm gonna run this. As soon as I run, you can see a grid which comes off here. Now I am going to, uh, you know, just push any button. Wow, there you go. I can see zero and moving along. So can you see that? I can see the, uh, the Z axis, the zero and one, zero and one. Let me try to move this joystick. Okay, I can see zero and one at the bottom and three, that's the X axis and Y axis and your one, Okay, this is cool. All right, now let's move on to the next. Okay, from JetBot, we need to import the class which we defined earlier. So let's highlight this. Okay, once we highlight this, all right. Now let's run this code. Cool. Now, once you run this code, let me try to run the bot. Make sure that I, you know, you have sufficient space. I'm going to hold it in my hand. There you go. I can run the motor, guys. Let me just share my screen. So, teleoperation is working perfect. All 
All right, there you go. So I am going to move the joystick. There you go. It's working perfect. Fantastic. So there is no doubt the teleoperation has been configured successfully. And it's working perfect. Reverse, backward, front. Okay, backward, front, left, right, doesn't work, forward, backward. All right, you, you can change the joysticks and according to that it works. Perfect, guys. So looks like looks like uh, things are working as desired and as per this code uh, in the next lesson what we are going to do is we will go through the code step by step i'm going to walk you through the each line of code like the way we did for the basic motion so that you will understand how the tele op works so go ahead and set it up and keep it ready we will move along with this lesson hold on your breath guys it's going to get more interesting i'm going to be back soon bye bye